welcome to Sonia's book talk. We're doing another one, another book talk. So we are stuck inside with our families right now because of the stay at home, shelter in place order. So I thought I would talk about some books that feature families. So the one that I just read lately is When We Found Home by Susan Mallory. I've talked about her before because she has a lot of books and they always have these great relationships like with sisters and mothers and um, brothers. And so here's another one, but this one is unique because it is a family that comes together, um, foster children that are found by their grandfather. So three different foster children um, come to live with him and they have to try to make a family. The one uh, boy has been there for a while, so now he's an adult and he has these two foster, or um, what you would call half sisters who are found in separate places. And uh, they come to live with the, the grandfather and how do you make a family of that? You're an adult and you find out you have two step, um, half siblings. Um, who have some issues because they've been in foster care and <laughs> things like that. But um, there are always great uh, themes and um, there's always good messages in Susan Mallory's books, I feel. Um, people, the characters are always working toward something good and trying to make good lives. So this is another one from hers, from Susan Mallory that I want to recommend because it's a new uh, take on families. So, when we found home. Alrighty. Um, another book I'm going to talk about is Standard Deviation by Katherine Heine. Um, this is about uh, a husband um, who is questioning his marriage. Um, so yeah, that doesn't sound like it's starting off very good, but his wife is just so different than him. It's about a husband and wife who are so different. He's more introverted. She's a total extrovert, and I liked her character. Her name is Audra. She's one of those go get em type women who is, you know, doing everything, um, and they're raising an autistic son. Um, so that character... Um, it was interesting to read because they obviously love their son. He is into origami. Um, he, you know, he's he's got the autistic um, characteristics that I think were dealt with. Um, you know, they were dealt with sensitively. So um, it's them trying to raise their their son, and the husband is just o overwhelmed. He's like. Um, you know, am I even connecting with my wife anymore? But it's done with humor, and it's done with heart. So I really liked it. Um, she also wrote um, Single Carefree Mellow, which is short story collection, which I really liked. And she's, you know, I think she has some pretty clever things, some humorous things, some entertain. It's entertaining. So I recommend it. Standard deviation. See the origami right there. All right, and finally, I want to talk about The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. Now, this takes place in Nantucket, and uh, as do a lot of Ellen Hildebrand books. Um, she's a popular author. I'm sure you can find some of her books on Overdrive and Libby and Hoopla right now if you, want, if you have an e-reader or a Kindle that you can read on or read on your computer. So, um, The Perfect Couple, this one was a fast read. Um, the, main, the main character is the mom, uh, her name is Greer, and they're, they're getting ready for a wedding. And then, uh, I'll say it because it's, it, it's not a spoiler, right in the beginning, a uh, bridesmaid is found drowned. So, Greer, is the matriarch of this family. And I liked her character. She was, even though they are wealthy, she is down to earth and a good person. And she's embracing her new daughter-in-law, even her though the daughter-in-law is not from a wealthy background. Um, 
So something's going on maybe with the husband. Maybe uh, there's several characters here who are fishy, and I don't want to say much more about this. Um, but like I said, it's not just a whodunit. It's about the whole family dynamic and Greer trying to keep her family together. So um, read some of these books. Let me know what you think in the comments. What books are you reading right now while you're stuck inside with your families? <laughs> um, let me know and have a good, uh, happy reading time. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the Stickney Force View Public Library's YouTube channel. Also, like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Stickney Forest View Public Library District, where great things happen.